So today is day three of the three day aesthetics course and today I began by doing my second set of lip fillers. Now this was on a lady who had previously had lip fillers. She also had piercings above and below her lips. So you know, just to throw it in there and make it a little bit more difficult. Um, working on some lips that have previously had filler felt again a different sensation to virgin lips which I had done for my first set of fillers. So this time there was more resistance to the lip and also getting the needle in I felt more pressure needed to be used in order to be able to get under the skin and deliver that channel of filler to achieve volume and lift. As she had already had lift in her lips from her previous filler, this involved a slightly different technique but I didn't need to flip and lift the lip because it had already been done so. But going through the Cupid's bow was very much the same technique regardless of if lips had been filled before or not. She was really happy with her results and I was really happy for her. They came out wonderful and I'm so pleased that doing my second set of lips just felt so natural to me and I really got into the flow of things. Following this, we moved it into the anti-wrinkle theory. And this was talking about all of the different products that are available on the market, the pros and cons of each, the shelf life, the expectations of them, the results that you can achieve with them, and also the varying costs, where some may have more subtle results, others appear more frozen when you have anti-wrinkle treatments. So it's really getting to know your client, knowing if they've had previous treatments, and also calculating how many units to use in each area to achieve the client's individual desired results. Anti-wrinkle treatments can take place with or without a brow lift and this dictates where you place the needle. Men also need more units per treatment and this will affect the price. Moving into the anti-wrinkle treatment, this again was a whole new sensation compared to filler. Now when using filler you do have to put a lot of pressure on the needle, which is a bigger needle, to really bring that product out which is a gel-like substance. Anti-wrinkle on the other hand is very loose and fluid, the needle is far shorter and less pressure is needed to be able to expel it into the skin. Anti-wrinkle treatments are also much more superficial, this means that you change the angle that you go into the skin and also we work across body when it comes to doing the eyes, the crow's feet. So working at the anti-wrinkle treatment, I was able to do a forehead with brow lift, the glabella lines or frown lines, and also crow's feet. And this is three areas of anti-wrinkle, which is common for most people. You can have one area of anti-wrinkle, which is just to the crow's feet, because when we treat the forehead and the frown lines, you want to treat these together because they work as a team. So treating just one of these, would not be as effective as treating them both together. Having my first anti-wrinkle client today was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed the procedure um, and it has to be my favorite. Out of fillers and anti-wrinkle, anti-wrinkle is my favorite, but I really enjoyed doing them both. Again, I asked so many questions throughout, filled my phone with notes, took photos of absolutely everything, which is a great way to keep track of what you've learned to then come back to it later on. We spoke about the booking systems that you use, pharmacies that can prescribe your treatments, where to source all of your products necessary for treatments, and then how to set up your own business, how to go about working as a third party in salons, to be mobile or to begin as a standalone. The information and advice in this course throughout has been amazing. And there is also a WhatsApp chat group where all of the fellow students can come together and share their tips and advice, ask for help, refer back to a tutor, and really have that support network that you need in the early days of beginning something new. So seeing my fellow students all qualifying on this course was such a wonderful moment and I'm so, so honored to be able to share that with them. I'm really, really uplifted, motivated and inspired to thrive in my business now, to get working in my local area and beyond and really see what I can grow through my new aesthetics business. So thank you all for joining me. It has been an absolutely wonderful journey and I hope that I've given you an insight into what to expect should you take this route to yourself. Ivy Aesthetics Academy have been so supportive, so wonderful throughout. I'm already thinking of the other courses that I want to come back and do.
So pop over to my blog at www.tracykiss.com where you can see beyond my course where my business takes me and I will continue to post updates of my achievements and growth as I go along to give you an idea of what to expect if you are setting up your own business in aesthetics. Thank you so much for joining. Until next time, take care of yourself, be kind to yourself and others, and I will see you all soon.